that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Early, he's plugged in for New York. Rockets have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight, and that one falls for Brooks. Here's Larkin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Smith outside. Pass to Larkin. Here's Early, guarded by Harden. Early, the pass to Anthony. Five to shoot. For three, Smith. Offensive rebound. Here's Turner. And the shot is good. Turner's got four points this quarter. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. The drive by Brooks. Good work defensively by Turner. It's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. Early kicks to Larkin. Stolen by Brooks. By himself. And there it goes. Jamming that one home. Here he comes, and there he goes. Look at him punish that rack. You know, the guys on the bench are going crazy right now at the sight of that jam. Here's Larkin. Brooks covering. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Well, it's been an outstanding game for them in the open court. Their fast break points really stand out. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. Both teams will make substitutions. He's off on the second. Rockets leading by 23. And Dragic with the basket on the assist by Brooks. Brooks has got five assists in the game. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Chris pass into the paint. We've got 128 left to play in the third. They double him with Shumpert. So here is Houston. Covington dishes to Brooks. Six to shoot to the middle. Covington with the bucket. Covington's got his first basket of the night. Boy, they've been so sound offensively in the second half. I love the way they're playing. Yeah, there's really no comparison in the shooting percentages between the teams since the break. The shot's good from Fournier. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Yeah, that's four straight trips, guys, where their passes have ended up in scores. Four straight assists. Great team play. Anthony kicks to Larkin. Dishes to Stoudemire. And he uses both hands to jam it in. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, <laughs> partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his uh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. And Shumper kicks to Smith. The dish now to Anthony. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. And that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. Outside jumper. From the wing. And it's off the back rim. No good. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Next Wednesday, November 23rd, LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers take on. And our assist to the game here on replay, presented by State Farm. 
this wasn't his only assist, folks. Nine assists on the night over the course of the game from Brooks. Kevin, it's been one great pass after another for him. Just a huge amount of scoring for that team's offense generated by his court vision. Rockets making a switch here. Keefe's checked in. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. And New York looking at who they've got. Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire, they're inside. Calderon at the one, Hardaway Jr. at the two. And it's Fuller in at the three spot. And the first one at the one. Making it look easy here. I mean, they're just automatic from the line. Brooks checked in for Goran Dragic. Good on both. Here's Brooks. And for him right now, an assist this trip would give him a double-double. Yeah, I would expect uh, that assist to come shortly. The way he's playing, I mean, he's really in control. That's good from Keith. He's perfect from the line this time. New York's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. The pass to Fuller. He dishes it to Stoudemire. It's rebounded by Houston. Such a solid performance for them inside. Their rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. Monty Unis' shot is good. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. The lead continues to grow. Absolutely. Their offense and their D have been equal parts outstanding. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. And Brooks, here we go. Here's Keith. They shoot again, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. It's tipped. Montiunas with the steal. Brooks outside. One-handed slam, putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that one out <laughs> in the course of an actual game. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, man. Might as well flaunt it if you've got it, Clark. Calderon passes to Anthony. Oh, that's blocked. Brooks against Calderon, passes it to Keith. feeds to Covington. Brooks up on top. Down low. And Monty Yunus with the basket on the assist by Brooks. Brooks has got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. Textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Anthony with the defensive effort. Knicks have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Brooks against Calderon. Out of bounds. Knicks ball as New York keeps possession of it. Both teams will make substitutions. 13 seconds on the shot clock. 13. Substitution on the court. Now here's Anthony. Two minutes. Two minutes. Five on the clock. Goes up at the stripe. Man soft on the front of the rim and drops. Anthony's got four points in the quarter. And after that last game, Clark, I'm not surprised to see him so hot. He's got it rolling right now. It's Brooks on the wing. He's guarded by Calderon. Fournier dishes to Brooks. It's hauled in by Jose Calderon. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. Good. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. The Rockets have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just total obliteration. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Houston. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember and. On the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10.
And I think this win builds confidence for uh, this year in the matchup. They take the first win of the season series, and you know, that could play a factor the next time these two teams meet. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. But I think the next game will be hotly contested. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for the team. You have to look at his steals and when he would come up with them as major factors in this result. Tipped away. Stolen by Brooks. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Covington. Here's Fournier. Fournier off a pick from Brooks. Six to shoot. The fader. It's rebounded by New York. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Early. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. He can always depend on him to put the... Pass right on the money. And here is Brooks. Fades and shoots. And the miss. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Yes, guys, I'm here with Goran Dragic. And Goran, what a nice show the team put on for your fans tonight. Yeah, great view for us, for our fans. They were amazing. This kind of games is really enjoying to play. We are bustling on every play, defense and offense. And, you know, I'm really happy that you won that game. You enjoyed it, and we enjoyed it. Thank you, Goran. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Doris. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game. Being an elite athlete means getting there early because you'll settle for nothing less than the best. It means repetition, doing the same things over and over again until they become second nature. And even when times are tough, it means not giving up and getting right back out there to keep your dream alive because you know you'll do whatever it takes to get to the top. And if you want to be the best, you can't forget about the details. And it all starts with the shoes.